Okay, on this video we're going to talk just about um, polynomials, adding and subtracting them. So just to give you kind of a background, the polynomial is a term, and the term, here's an example of one, the term has a coefficient, so that's just the mathy term for the number in front of the variable, and then we have a variable here, right? It's connected through multiplication, okay? So this is a one-term polynomial. One term is... Um, called a monomial. So one term is a monomial, so that's a special name for it. When I have two terms, so this is one term and this is one term, this is called a binomial. And when I have three terms, this is called a trinomial. So we have a monomial, one term, binomial, two terms, and trinomial, three terms. So with all of these polynomials, anything more than, than three terms, like if you have a four-term polynomial, you just call it a four-term polynomial, five-term polynomial. So these are the only three special names that, that you're going to um, see. So we can add them and subtract them. So with this video, I'm only going to do adding and subtracting. Next one, I will do multiplying. So when we're adding polynomials, you have to have an understanding of what is a like term and what is an unlike term. So the idea is, if I said x equaled 3, okay, and I had a term x and I had a term x squared. Well, if x equals 3, this one equals 3, this one equals 3 squared, which is 9. These are not the same values. So these are called unlike terms. The variable is the same, right? The variable is the same, but the exponent is different. So they're unlike terms. So in order to have a like term, you have to have the same variable, same exponent, right? That's a like term. So you can only add and subtract like terms. You cannot add or subtract unlike terms. So if I were to add, let's say I have 2x cubed, plus 3x squared plus 4x, that's in one set, plus, I'm going to write it down here, 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x. Okay, so I have this polynomial and I'm adding this polynomial. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to go through and you're going to look for like terms. So I have 2x cubed and a 2x cubed. Well, when my variable and my exponent is the same, think of it as, a, as an item. I have two of these and I have two more of these. So I have a total of four x cubed. So the x cubed, think of it as one item, it's one thing. I had two here, I had two here, now I have four of them. Then you look for the next like term. I have three x squared and I have four x squared. When I add those together, I end up with 7x squared. Notice the variables don't change, okay? The variable and the exponents don't change. All I'm doing is adding what's called the coefficient. And now I look for x's. I have 4x's plus 3 more x's. That gives me 7x's. So that's just adding like terms. All you're doing is you're putting, you're finding the, the terms that are the same, and they have to be the same variable, same exponent, and then you're just adding the, the coefficients. When you're subtracting, it's a little bit uh, more of a process because you're going to be subtracting the whole thing. Let me grab this. All right, so we have um, 7x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1. That's one polynomial. Minus 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus 3. So here is where it gets tricky. If I have a subtraction sign in between, what this means is I'm doing the opposite of everything in the, in the parentheses after the subtraction sign. So what you're going to do is you're going to come through, you're going to make this a plus sign, then you're going to change every sign inside the, the set of parentheses. So now I'm back to adding polynomials. All I've done is I've added and then I change every sign. And now I'm going to add like terms. So I have 7x cubed 
minus 2x cubed. That gives me, gives me 5x cubed. I have 2x squared plus 4x squared. So I have 6x squared. And then I have a 1 plus 3. So positive 4. Okay. So subtracting, we're going to do one more. Let's do one more. So I don't like that color. So I have 5x to the 4th plus 2x to the 3rd minus 7x squared plus 1. And I'm going to subtract off uh, 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 2. Okay, so again, I see a subtraction sign. I make it an addition, and then I go through and I switch the sign on everything on the inside of the second set of parentheses. So now when I add like terms, here I have 5x to the fourth, and I have negative 3x cubed. These are not like terms. So I have nothing to add my 5x to the fourth to. So I'm just going to rewrite it. Now I come here, 2x cubed minus 3x cubed. I have a negative x cubed. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So I don't have to put the 1 there. And then I have negative 7x squared plus 2x squared. So I have a negative 5x squared. And I have a 1 plus 2 is positive 3. And that's subtracting and adding polynomials.